You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader, live in high definition. This is News Channel 3 at 11. We continue to keep tabs on the latest information from authorities as law enforcement agencies across the state hunt for accused cop killer Christopher Dorner. Los Angeles Police Chief Charlie Beck made a plea today to the triple murder suspect to turn himself in before there is any more bloodshed. Dorner, a former Los Angeles police officer, posted a manifesto online targeting other police officers and their families. Authorities found Dorner's burned-out pickup truck this morning in Big Bear and suspect he may be in the mountain area now. San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies held a news conference tonight saying they'll have units on the ground and in the air patrolling all night. Authorities have also searched Dorner's Las Vegas home, but reportedly found nothing to help in the investigation. We have team coverage on this story tonight. We begin with News Channel 3's Greg Lee. He's been following this story up in Big Bear. And Greg, we know a snowstorm is headed your way. How is the weather expected to affect the search for this wanted man? Good evening, Karen and John. As you can imagine, it is very cold and very dark up here at Big Bear Mountain right now. And as like you said, they're expecting a snowstorm any moment now. The clouds have rolled in, and they could certainly hamper this search, if not cancel it tonight. Now, here's the other big news from that press conference earlier tonight. Authorities said they will reopen schools and the ski resort tomorrow morning. Perhaps a small sign that things are starting to get back to normal. The massive manhunt for a suspected cop killer shifted to the quiet mountain city of Big Bear. San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies found the truck of Christopher Dorner, an ex-member of the LAPD and Navy, burned out on the road between Snow Summit and Bear Mountain Ski Resorts. That drew hundreds of law enforcement officials to the mountain. Well, we were working and we saw all the helicopters because yesterday they had a controlled uh, burn. And so, you know, I just figured out oh, there's a, a fire now because that's you could see the smoke. And then there was one helicopter, then two, then three, then four, then five. Then there was like up to eight helicopters. The search put schools on lockdown and shut down the ski resort as heavily armed officers went door to door searching for Dorner. While alarming, the extra police presence gave some people a small peace of mind in a terrifying situation. I love it. I mean, it, it makes me feel safe. It should make all the residents up here feel safe. Um, that they're not going to quit until they find the guy, whether the weather gets him that's coming in tonight or whether they get him. While officers secured the community, helicopters dropped crews onto the mountain to follow any trace of Dorner. We did find some tracks around the vehicle, but they did not lead to the suspect. We're continuing to work with our partners. There's a number of folks here with us today. U.S. Forest Service, Big Bear Fire, U.S. Marshal, FBI, Cal Fire, Orange County Sheriff, Riverside Police, Irvine Police, Pomona Police, as well as the San Bernardino Police Department. Uh, we're committed to continuing this operation. We still have a number of patrol cars providing extra service to the citizens of the Big Bear area, making sure that they stay as safe as possible. As night falls and an expected snowstorm moves in, the search becomes more challenging. While the manhunt continues, people living in Big Bear can only settle in, hope, and wait anxiously to hear their families are clear of danger. Uh, I'm constantly looking over my shoulder, and if he comes around my family, I'm going to do what it takes to protect them, whether it costs me my life or not. Now, John Karen, back out here live. I know you may not be able to see it, but we're starting to see some small snow flurries. So obviously that, that weather starting to take effect. Now, ground crews are still going door to door. They told us in that press conference they've searched over 200 homes. They plan to continue through the night. So obviously this big push to keep this town safe. Reporting live, Greg Lee, News Channel 3, Big Bear. So as you said, they gave you a little hint that the schools are going to be reopening and the ski slopes tomorrow. So the police presence, is it still very active tonight? Karen, you're absolutely right. Even though they're reopening those things in hopes that things are starting to return back to normal, there will still be a heavy police presence along the roads. And they even said in that news conference, if you're uncomfortable sending your kids back to school, feel free to keep them there. All right, Greg Lee, live in Big Bear tonight. Thank you.